There are many times during the year you may consider using a fungicide in your crop, but one operation that really hasn't been done very much is using a fungicide in winter wheat in the fall. Many of the applications of fungicides have been timed in the spring and early summer when there's a lot of moisture out there, but fall is an important time too to do everything you can do to have great plant health. For Darren and me, we're always trying to find out what's the latest cutting edge thing, what are a lot of high yield farmers doing, and this is something that some farmers have tried with good success. So you've probably heard about the big plant health discussion in corn and soybeans, where farmers are using strobel urine products like Headline or Quadris, and they're getting plant health benefits out of that. Well, the same thing can happen in wheat. When you go out and you spray a fungicide in the fall, not only do you have the diseases controlled then, because sometimes we do have some diseases show up in the fall, but also we're getting plant health benefits, and one of those is that plant somehow responds and we get a little bit better winter survivability. So it could be a couple of things here. I mean, yes, there are things happening in the plant internally, but also just having better disease control going into the winter, that's got to be a good thing. So your plant's just that much healthier and it's better able to survive that winter. How much yield are you going to gain? What we suggest is just try some of this out a little bit and then you'll find out yourself. But this is something we're going to do on our winter wheat this fall. We'll run some tests and we'll let you know how they turn out. One of the reasons that some farmers are considering doing this is because of stripe rust. There's stripe rust that has been found to actually overwinter in certain parts of the country. And if you have a mild winter, which we have no idea how the winter is going to be, it just might happen depending on where you're at. Now, I highly doubt it's going to happen in the Dakotas, but if you're somewhere like Idaho, for example, where the, the climate's a little more uh, temperate than here, that might be a concern for you. And if you've got some stripe rust that's out there in the fall, you may want to just wipe it out completely so you don't have to deal with it next year. All right, so the question is, what am I going to use for a product and what am I going to use for a rate? If it was me, what I would do is I'd probably be running a half rate because the plant's really small and I might use a straight strobe. I might go with a headliner quadris, but a lot of people now are using combination fungicides just so we don't have to worry as much about disease resistance. So I'd maybe try both out, maybe try a straight strobe like a headliner quadris, and try out a combination product, maybe even something like Preaxor. You could use Stratego Yield, a number of different combination products that have two different modes of action. All right, so is this going to require an extra trip across your fields this fall? No, it doesn't necessarily have to. There are many operations that could be going on in your fields. For example, weed control. If you're looking at winter annual weeds, like cheatgrass, for example, you may be out there already spraying to treat cheatgrass. Well, now you could add a fungicide right in there. And for the most part, the fungicides are compatible with different insecticide or herbicide applications that you're already making in the field. The other piece of good news here is fungicide prices are coming down. So for a half rate of fungicide, expect to invest only three to six dollars an acre. Well, one other thing you may be watching for in your wheat fields and other areas of your farm is our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 